I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. The struggle is real with the makeup nose. Today is the brand Thursday. So I asked you guys what you ha wanted and um, one uh, Nancy said that she, how about CoverGirl? I had it all ready for CoverGirl. And then um, someone else said, well, what about Wet n Wild? And I'm like, you know what? I have more products with Wet n Wild. And I just ordered some products from Cover CoverGirl off of Amazon. Unfortunately, those are at in uh, Georgia. So when I go back home, Nancy, and get those products, I'm gonna that next week I'm gonna do CoverGirl for you. But today I decided to do Wet n Wild. And I just got this palette. I think it was from a winning. I can't remember. Um, or it was from the, it was either from the winning or from the advent calendar. So let's go in. It's an all kind of matte shade and um, a color scheme that I'm not really gravitating to. So let's just try it. All right, let's go in with this shade here just to kind of set the primer it looks, but it looks white to sit but it almost looks like a got a slight grayish undertone but it looks white okay let's just go in that's probably way too dark for a transition shade so let's do the purple for transition That other color was way too light. It barely showed up past the primer. Yeah, I feel so bad. Um, I asked you guys for suggestions, and of course, um, Jenna um, asked for two products, or two brands, and I was embarrassed to say I don't have anything from them. And I'm like, oh. But I promise, guys, as soon as things get a little better in my life, if if it, you have a brand that you want to see, I will go get it. Just right now, it's been a struggle. All right, let's go in with, oh my gosh, let's do black. I, I am being brave because, and I'm going to work. And this is the part that they can actually see. So I'm being even more brave. You guys, I'm, you guys are my therapy. My work is so stressful right now. It's like one thing after another. Why is it that when anything happens, it's always quality, quality, quality. Hey, quality's got to do it. Quality's got to do it. Well, we can't do everything. We can't have the responsibility of everything. But anyway, so if I use that for the transition, yeah, this scheme isn't the best. Okay, let's just make it work. Let's put a little brown. You know, I should have just done the opposite. The brown for the transition and then the purple for the inner corner. Oh well. But yeah, I mean, anything, uh, an error occurs, quality fix it. You know, patient gets harmed, investigate and figure it out what happened? COVID. Oh my gosh. Seems like we're responsible for everything. But you know, I don't mind, but because that's my job, but it does get kind of overwhelming. But you guys are my therapy. I enjoy coming, filming this in the morning and um, 
then kind of seeing uh, your comments and reading your comments it makes it really does lift me up and it makes me feel good so I really appreciate you guys okay again I'm going out to my comfort zone I don't know how this is gonna work or look because these are dark colors okay so should I go in with a light or a darker because this is dark guys I am not creative I mean there's so many people that are so creative I think I got dropped on my head as a, a baby when and it landed on the creative side because I have no creativity so, is that the word oh my gosh my brain's not working today all right let's oh my god guys I don't usually do toppers wait is this a lipstick Okay, no, good. Stop the shadow. Because I had some of this brand, the liquid ketchup, in the lipstick. That would not have been funny. Is he even showing up? You know what? I probably should have put. No, I don't need it. This is probably not meant to go over eyeshadow. Well, no, it's a topper. If I didn't have hooded eyes, maybe you'd be able to see it. All right, well, let's stop there before it gets worse. And then, going way outside my comfort zone, from Wet n Wild, I have these eyeliners. And I have a purple, pink, and a white. I think purple would be the best. It should work, you guys. Oh, yeah, and I forgot it has this tip that I'm not good at. Oh my goodness. And if I could like open one eye and keep the other eye open, or close one eye, it would make it so much easier, but I can't do that, I'm not talented. My husband always makes fun of me whenever I'm trying to wink. Yeah, this is not showing up because it's so dark over the, or the shadow is too dark for this. That's not showing up at all. And I don't have, I might have to keep building this up. You can see it on my eyelash. <laughs> I'm gonna get more on my eyelash than I am. My lid. Okay, so I tried to get build it up and do my wing liner. You can barely see it, and I put like I kept going in with it and like trying to build it up. <sighs> it's okay. All right, so now I do have a Wet n Wild black eyeliner for my for underneath. Yeah, I bought those eyeliners because I'm like, oh, I could try to do more color, and they they're the metallic, and I kind of like that, and I wanted to experiment a little more. But they, I think I've used maybe the pink one once, and. That was it, and I remember it not being as pigmented. 
Have you ever tried the purple? So, I've had this for a while. So, oh well, anyway. Life is life. Okay, now let's get into the rest of this, my face. Hopefully I can't make it a disaster. I have the uh, Wet n Wild Glass Correct Primer. I've only used this once during a, I think, a, um, a first impressions video. Actually, um, I the time I used that pink eyeliner, now that I think of it, I think I have done a Wet n Wild video a long time ago. And I didn't have too many products then. And I think that's when I used my pink one. So. I like how it makes you glow, though. Hence, glass primer. Okay, let's go in with the Wet n Wild cushion that I got out of the advent calendar. And I think when I tried this, was it better with the sponge? Let's try. I can't remember if it was better with the sponge or. Is it already like I can only use this once? Okay. It just didn't look like it was coming out on, on this. I was like, it better not be gone already. And it's not like it's old either. I just got it like right before Christmas and I, I, did the, I used it for the try-on video, or uh, first impressions video. And that was it. I wonder if the, these um, cushion foundations, how much product do you really get in it? Because I think it can't be that much product. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the, the sponge and see if it. If I remember right, it, as soon as you initially use that, and then you kind of use the sponge to kind of get a little more. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. But I do remember this is not a full coverage. I'm able to cover most of my blemishes, so I guess that's good. Jamie, just stop here before you mess anything else up. Okay, so that's that, and then I do have a concealer. It's a little dark though, I don't know if I'm gonna like, I can't remember when I did the first impressions when I use this, how it worked. Man, I can't remember a lot of stuff. I, my dad always teases me because he's got a great memory. I mean, his memory is phenomenal. And um, I think, I, I can't remember if I told the story before, but um, he was forgetting stuff like where his, um, checkbook or like conversations he just had with his friend a couple days ago or a um, couple hours ago and he his friend called him back and they were talking and my dad asked the question he's like Dean we, we just uh discussed this and he's like we did and he's like yeah and then there's a couple of, are, are you are you okay <laughs> you know and so he, that's when he called me I said oh my gosh he's having a stroke you need to take them to the hospital, please. I'll be there as soon as I can because I was working in Texas at the time and that's where my dad is. And um, because, you know, he got to retire early and moved to Texas because he did all the right things, not like his daughter. But anyway, 
So I went there and um, luckily no damage. It must have been just like a what they call a TIA, transient ischemic stroke. Um, be, and they call it be, that because no damage, but you had symptoms, but they don't see anything. Um, so they, you know, pretty much knew it was, and his blood pressure was like over 200, like really, really high. So yeah, that's why it was forgetful. So, and I forget a lot. And so he always goes, man, when I, I get, when I forget, well, people take me to the hospital. <laughs> and I'm like, that's because it's abnormal for you, dad. It's normal for me to be forgetful. So, what, oh, cream bronzer. I had this little stick from them, do I need contour stick? And this is the bronzer. So we're gonna go in with, I'm gonna use this once, or maybe twice. It's kind of nice to like reach back out to this stuff, you know, that, you know, some of it's new to me because I just got all the uh, advent calendar or some winnings. But some of this I totally forgot I even had. Because for everyday use, I've been trying to use up some of these other bronzers that I have. And I like to try to stick to the same thing until it's used up. So. I tend to forget about some of the other products I have. But right now I've been, because I've had that Natasha Denone uh, um, concealer for a while, came in one of my subscriptions. I have two things from her. And one is that, and you guys know how expensive she is. And I was so excited to get it in my subscription. I think they were both from BoxyCharm. But um, this is not blending so well. I wonder if it's the sponge. Because I don't remember it not blending. I remember really liking this. The uh, concealer is way too dark. I'm like, oh my gosh. How did you get this so wrong? I mean, when I tell you I'm light, I'm light. I'm Irish and English. I have no color to me. But anyway, okay. For blush, cream blush, I don't really have a cream blush, but I have this multi stick that's supposedly um, supposed to be for both. But I think I tried it once for cheeks and it did not work very well. So I've been using it just for a, a liner. But we're going to try to make it work today since I don't have another cream blush. Maybe if I do it this way, it'll work better. Okay. And draw it on your face. I think last time I was trying to draw it on my face. I think it's working a little better. We're going to make it work. So anyway, yeah, I, um, like I said, I'm not creative at all. It's so fun to watch the um, YouTubers that are, like Boots on the Beat, she just started um, this hater hotline. Oh my gosh, I'm rolling. Um, it's so funny. I need one of those. <laughs> oh wait, I get enough of those at work because <laughs> I'm over the patient complaints too. So we have to take care of all the patient complaints. Oh, that's just... So I guess I do kind of have a hater hotline. Okay, I think that's the mo most out of this I'm going to get out of this. Um, I use it more for a lips, like a lip liner. So it, it works probably better as the liner. All right, now we're going to use the other end of the stick. I don't know if I've ever used the highlight portion. Yeah, it doesn't look like I used the highlight. So, let's see what this...
And then Lady Lori, if you've never seen her videos, she's a who. Her her thing for her videos are um, her alter alter egos. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. If you haven't seen her videos, you need to go check them out. And Bootsy on the beat. I guess not necessarily mask Monday, but whenever she does the masks, she has her husband do it. I would never be able to get my husband to do it. But my husband also has this big old beard, and he knows I don't like it, and I'm always like, so when is that coming off? He's like, it's not. <laughs> anyway, so um, I thought I had a setting powder from them, but I thought when I got bought this, it was a setting powder, and when I did my first impressions on it, it was a highlighter, so. I don't have a, a powder, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go in with the bronzer, and this is the What She Beaches bronzer. And I got this one out of the Evan calendar. I actually got quite a few products out of there that I actually did not have, so, from Wet Wild, so it was perfect. It's not like I got the same stuff that I already had. And it looks so dark in the pan, but it goes on really light. Because I was, if you saw that video, or a couple of the videos I've used this, you would have heard me talk about it. I actually have to kind of build it up sometimes. Contour my nose. And right under my lip. Okay, now I'm gonna just go in with this brush and kind of just blend it in, contour. Okay, I'm gonna go in with blush and I'll be back. I don't have one. Okay. Let's go in with the highlight. I use, I've been using this every day. It's, I love it. Um, so for next week, what brand would you like to see? The following week, I got Nancy with CoverGirl. Jenna, I'll get your, your request at some point. She requested Glam Light and ColourPop. How does a YouTuber not have those two brands? This one. I'm like, I don't even have a one product of that, those brands. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. So other than those two brands, <laughs> I'll do my very best to do it for you. <laughs> uh, that's going with our eyes. Um, finish this look up. I'm not liking this look, but maybe the final results will be better. And I have a little of the brown left on my brush and I'm mixing it with purple. So hopefully between the two, it'll look pretty good. And then with the black. All right, let's blend that a little bit. And I already did my brows since I don't have anything for that. But I'm going to use um, the Wet n Wild for my brow bone highlighter since this is all matte pretty much. And a little pop in the inner corner. I love this highlighter because it kind of has like, it's a dual chrome. And it, well, it's called Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and it's in White Raven. I love this highlighter. And it works good for your eyes and it's a highlight. So you, it kind of has that shift. I really like it. Okay, anyway, um, now let's go in. 
with mascara. Always mess up with this, but all right. This is the big papa that I got a little sample in the advent calendar. See how big this wand is though, and you have like no handle. I'm sure the regular size, it's not as bad. But this was like super cheap in the. And you know what? I think I got it for like $10. And I got decent pro products out of it. But I thought I saw, um, if I remember right, Wicked Awesome Lifestyles video. They got Advent Calendar, the same one later though. And I thought they said $5. I could be wrong. I'm like, oh, really? I just bought mine and it was like $10. Oh well. It was still worth it. You guys, I think that I, um, line art, I got so much of my lashes and it dried and it's making it very difficult to put this mascara on. It's not going on very good. And this is a good mascara, so let me go work with it. Let me try my lower lashes. I wish I could put this in my bathroom because I have a better mirror there. But the hotel bathrooms, there's no way to set this up. Um, and this seemed to be better lighting than in the bathroom, even with my ring light or the selfie light. Okay, let me go fix this. I'll be back. And now look, it's, cu it's coming out. What is it with these little ones that just push? Because my Tarte one did that same thing. It just like, I don't know. Anyway, and look what my lashes ended up doing. It's like they're just poking out and clumped all together. They look awful. Oh, well. Good enough for who it's for. Anyway, um, but I don't think it's the mascara. I think it was the eyeliner that got too much on my lashes and it dried down. So that was my fault. So let's just finish this look. And I have a lip liner from them. I do like lip liner. It is creamy. Did I like totally mess that up? Yeah, that's not the shape of my lips. I'm just not doing well today. Okay, let's go in with the cloud pout. And this, I'm going to try cloud chaser. I don't know why I'm smelling. <laughs> Although, I have been, it's the, the coffee here, which I can't smell that, but then I also go in with the peppermint, and I'm trying to train my sense of smell. Back. And like, I get hints of smells. So that's a good sign that it's coming back. And I think they, I read um, when you start um, being able to have those hints, like brief spurts or whatever, that it's usually maybe weak. So I'm really praying that this weekend I can do Scented Saturday again. I mean, I guess I could do it because you guys can't smell it anyway, but what's the point of Scented Saturday when you can't smell? Anyway. 
so then I have these liquid, um, the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu lip glosses. Do I dare try to put this over? Or should I go in with this? This one, with this one. This one makes more sense. It's a metallic lipstick. Okay, I was expecting a little bit different, so I guess I didn't need to go in with cloud coat. I could just put this on. least this look man this look does not look very good today oh well is the setting spray I had the photo focus mini matte um, setting spray or the photo focus matte finish setting spray get it on the English side Jamie and maybe we'll be able to read okay oh there's a little kind of came out a little hard all right you guys this is the final look sorry about the long video not as great as I would like but it's good enough for who it's for and if you're new here welcome and please subscribe to my channel hit that little bell right next to it so you're notified of future uploads also if you're not new here welcome back and please give this video a thumbs up even though the look didn't turn out so good because it really helps my channel out bye